So in the previous video, we were talking about doing a simple rotation with any tree that uh, turned out to be imbalanced. What happens, however, you know, you may have noticed that both times uh, my parent and even my grandparent were actually sort of parallel. Uh, say, for example, in the last video, we were talking right rotation, and I made an insertion of an 8 here. Well, let's say, for example, that this happened to be the 8. And instead of, there we go. Let's say this happened to be the 8. And I went in and I made an insert 7. So again, I would come in and I would insert that 7. And just like we've done uh, each time, I would then assess, uh, is my balance factor still OK? Well, my balance factor here is uh, a 0, uh, because I have no children. I check my depth. I have a leftward side. Uh, so I'm at a, one, a 0 minus 1, or negative 1 balance factor. Uh, that 0 is coming from the fact that I don't have a right child. So it's just kind of non-existent. And then I would make the assessment uh, again with my 6. Just like I said with my 8, I also have some non-existent child here. Now, this is where things get interesting, because I would see that I have my left being a 0. However, when I would make my subtraction, I don't just go straight down one way. So I'm not just going down my right children, but I would go one node and then two nodes. I have a maximum depth of going uh, two more nodes. So I'd see that 6 is a uh, balance factor of 2. It's heavy. So where is this starting to originate? Well, my issue actually is coming in the fact that I can't just do a left rotation. You see, if I were, if I were to take sort of that child, that heavier side, and make the rotation, I wouldn't exactly fix this entire problem. So let's actually kind of see this in action. So again, I would come in and that x has a parent y, and I have some subtrees going on with them, a t1, a t2, a t3. And to make my, in this case, left rotation, I'd see that the y and the x would come into play, same as before, and y would inherit that t2. while x still retains its t3. So again, I make that same rotation we were just talking about. So I make my rotation, 5, 2. Again, they're unfazed. I would give the 8 to be the parent. That left child is still the 6. Take a look at what we're still saying here. 6 gets a non-existent child. It gets a 7, and then my 8 gets a non-existent child. So if we were to, once again, make the calculation, just to kind of see this again, you'd notice that my balance factor here, it's a 0, it's a 1, I'd still have a 2 going on right here. So we've found ourselves in a slight issue where what I have to do is what we would classify as a double rotation because I can't just do a rotation off of here. Instead, I find that this category requires me to do something we like to call a trinode restructuring. 